Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, welcome. I get asked all the time how to source online. One of the ways that you can do that is via Shop Goodwill, which is Goodwill Thrift Stores online auctions. And I did a video about this. It's been almost a year, so I wanted to update that video and go through some tips with you guys. So let's get started. All right, so first I want to say there are a couple of ways that you can source on Shop Goodwill. They have pallets and Gaylords, and they also have big lots and big items that you can pick up in person. But in order to do that, of course, it has to be in your area. So if you see big lots of items, check the area and it might be in yours. I have bought a couple of pallets off of Shop Goodwill. I live in North Florida. I picked them up in Orlando. So that is definitely a possibility and probably the more common way is going to be to have those items shipped to you. So I am going to turn you guys around. We are going to look at the computer screen and I am going to source. I'm trying not to source, but for this video, if I find items that I think are worth flipping for a profit, I'm going to go ahead and buy them. And the majority, if not all of the items that you do see in this video will have ended by the end of this video because I am not trying to start a bidding war. So I will tell you the three methods I use and then we're going to actually take a look at that. And the majority of this video will be screen shared with me narrating. So one of the ways that you can is by ending today. And again, you will see this on the screen here in a minute. The other blanket search term I use a lot is lot. So when you put the word lot in and I don't put anything else and I just see what they have, because one of the things with Shop Goodwill is that they could call something differently than what you would. So you definitely want to kind of keep it as broad as possible because you don't know what words they're going to use in that title. So keep it broad. I try and find stuff that is ending soon because I don't remember a lot of times to go back and follow those auctions. If you do bid on or watch something that is ending, I would recommend setting a reminder on your phone so you're not like me and go back and be like, oh man, I forgot on that and it's already ended so let's go ahead and take a look and i will let you guys see me navigate shop goodwill here on shopgoodwill.com so lot is one of my favorite terms to search for so i just simply type that in and we are going to search and i am going to make this bigger so that you can see it a little bit better as we scroll through so here is a lot of assorted pens and brooches. I'm going to see if that is more. And because for $25, and it is. So here is something that just as a tip for you guys, you want to put this photo as the front photo, which they did not do. So there are 5, 10, 15, 20. There are 25 brooches in this lot. And it's at $20. So that's about a dollar per brooch. And shipping is $5. Handling is two. So that'll be seven. So you're right at a dollar into these. So what I do is I click in and see if any one thing might catch my eye. And here, nothing really does except for possibly this cameo necklace that could possibly be gold. So you want to really dig into the picture here, but there's nothing that makes me want to get this. But with shipping, you would be only about a dollar in. You probably could make money on this lot, but that's not as much as I would like to do. So I am going to keep on searching. And remember, I only put lot in here. So we're just looking through to see if anything might catch our eye. So like here, this is a lot of 10 assorted fashion wallets. As you guys know, I source and sell quite a bit of different items. So I kind of have a broad range. So there are a couple of coach wallets here and there's a Vera Bradley, a small little hand coach. 
but these look really dirty. If you look at this purse here, it is just dingy and dirty. That one is as well. So these are not in the best of shape. But if they were, it's at $20 for, let's see, six, eight, ten. So we're at $2 per item. And then you always want to go to estimate shipping. And the shipping is only $9. So that is not much. So here you would be about $3 in per wallet. A lot of times, and even with these as in bad condition as they are, you could probably get $20 for these, which means you would have to sell two and you would make profit on 10 of these. But again, that is not something that I am interested in. And then you've got this lot of three Disney plushes. So I just click on these items and kind of see if I see anything that catches my eye. And here you've got three plushes. It's only at $7. So you're at about $3 for each. You're going to estimate the shipping again get your estimate and it's $21 which is insane $7 for plus shipping so that puts that one out for me now I will point out this one is in Orange County County which is in California which is very far from Florida where I live so if you live in California this might be a little more feasible for you to make a profit on so let's keep looking so here's some Nerf guns and some more Nerf guns. I don't know that much about Nerf guns and I'm trying only to click on things for the this auction that I know. So I am going to click here. Let's see if there are any stethoscopes in here that are worth any money. And that is just a plastic. That's probably a Fisher Price Kids one. This one just looks generic, generic, generic. These are all just generic stethoscopes. So those are not worth it. But again, you're going to look at how many items. This one is five. The price is 25. So that would be $5 each. Shipping is only a penny on this one. Goodwill does offer penny shipping lots. So again, not something I'm interested in. This, however, looks interesting to me. And you'll see these are all ending within a couple of hours. And I tend to only like to bid on those because I do forget to go back and check. So let's take a look. This is a really pretty enamel candlestick holder. And it's got like the flower. That one's a little Hong Kong brass like shot glass. So this one says front gate. So what I would do is I would then open eBay and I'm going to put in front gate brass. Now there's not much. Here is one, a deer for $170. I'm not seeing very much here. There's another one. So let's look at sold and see if we find anything there. And this is how I do my research when I am looking. I want to see what something looks so this is a front gate. It says it's brash Italian. This is a trash can that sold for 110. So let's, we're going to go to worth point now because I'm not finding this front gate. I don't think it's this base. I actually think it is this, like, it almost looks like a ice bucket. So let's put in front gate grass. Let's try ice bucket. And I do, there's nothing. Um, I do have a membership to worth point. I do find it is worth it. So there's another trash can that sold for 195. And we're just going to scroll. There's only three pages here. And what I'm doing is I am researching to see if I can find anything similar to that. But seeing that wastebasket selling for $195 kind of makes me want to almost bid on this lot if shipping is not a lot. So what I want to do here is I want to see if I can find the bottom and see if that is the same front gate marking. Because if it is, so they're made in Italy for front gate. 
And then here, let's look again. So I, let's, let's see how much shipping is. So we've got four items here. So that's what I will figure. This again is Orange County, so it could be high. Shipping is $20, which is $5 per item, but the bidding's only at $5. I'm thinking I could get $50 to $75 for that. So I am going to be willing to pay $40 because those other pieces are nice as well. I'm going to place my bid. And I am currently the high bidder. It went up to $10.04. This one does end in two hours. So I could get outbid. That is definitely a possibility. But I feel comfortable that for this front gate piece, I can get 75 to 100. This vase is also beautiful, which you don't even see in the photo. They didn't really take the pictures here, which is something that will happen. Because if you look, look at how beautiful this vase is with like the mother of pearl. So I feel like this vase could be worth something as well. So that is going to be the first item I'm going to bid on. And we're going to keep looking. I am not going to look for too long this way because I do want to show you the other two methods that I use. So this says a lot of three sculptures. Again, they are very vague and you never know what they're going to put. These look really awesome. That looks kind of scary, actually. That dude is a little weird, but I like it. These are different. They are starting it at $25, though, but shipping is only a dollar. So you also, when you're in your browser, can right click and search Google for this image. So let's see if we can find anything. Look, it brought up Chewbacca. <laughs> that is definitely not Chewbacca, but oh, so here is where it gets a little sticky. I am probably going to go ahead and bid on these just the $30. That would be $10 a piece. And this is just a feeling I have. That thing is kind of scary, though but I am going to go ahead and place my bid on these three because those look like vintage sculptures. And unfortunately, a lot of times on here, Google might not find the image, but when I have this item in my hand, I can actually use Google Lens and be able to find it. So we'll go to the end of this page, see if we see anything else interesting. If we do not, then we will go to the other methods that I use. I did just open that stamp lot. So if you watch my channel, I have been selling some stamps and it was from a lot like this that I actually sold my stamps. I am not wanting to get more stamps, but if you are a newer seller or don't have much inventory, lots like this would be a good thing to sell. So the price is at $11 and then you wanna go estimate the shipping. Again, this is Orange County, so shipping is $20 for me. I do not want to pay $30 for these stamps, even though you could make a profit. I don't like seeing shipping that high, which is in California. So we are going to skip that one. So on this one page, I did find two items. I might not always. I can scroll and scroll for hours and not find anything. It happens. It also depends on my mood and how I'm feeling. So the next way I'm going to search is by ending today so we are going to click that with no search terms and and we're just going to scroll and now i will tell you what happens here like this has 18 seconds 36 seconds you have got to be fast when you're scrolling like this so there's not much time to research so doing it this way like these have six minutes left and that you know is enough time to search so like here are van's comic shoes and they do have the box so we are going to click check these out just to look at condition they look like they're in good condition they are women's size seven so let's go back to ebay and look for vans may the force be with you and this is what i do i go back and forth and i just look stuff up so 
we're just going to put that. We're not going to put a size right now. There are 23 of these listed. And let's see how many have sold. And you can see there is a good price range here. Like some of these are 50, 60. I saw some up top. Here's another one for 30. Let's click on sold. So there is one for 27, 49, 33. There's another of that pair for 40, 40. So the thing with these is that they're already at $47, which is about what you're going to get on eBay. So that would not be worth it. So let's keep scrolling. And now we're down to eight minutes, nine minutes. Um, and what you will notice is that it is early when I'm doing this, but at night, there are going to be a lot more that end a lot faster. So this is a Patricia Nash purse. I'm not familiar with her, but I see this price is pretty high. So another thing when you're looking at these, if you see items going high, such as this, is you can click in and look at this because you're learning. While you're looking at these items that you might possibly buy, you are also learning. So now if you see Patricia Nash out in the wild, you would know that it would be possibly worth the money. So let's go to let's go to eBay and let's see Patricia Nash. And I'm gonna put set because that is a three-piece set. So if you see here, look at these prices on some of these. They're pretty high. $179. So there are, and this is actually our pattern here. And I'm not sure the name, but that is definitely our pattern. So there are 53 listed of her set. Let's see how many have sold. There are 49 sold. So that has a real good sell-through rate. So this is our wallet here. Sold for 35, which isn't high. You can see, look at some of these prices. And this is where I'm saying, definitely remember this stuff when you're researching because it could be worth a lot of money. And then now you have learned a new brand. I was not familiar with this. And I don't see this actual print. So I am actually going to not get it. I will tell you, if I saw this selling for $200, I probably would bid up to $100 on this and still make a $100 profit because the sell-through is good. So we are going to just keep scrolling here. And I'm still... Like I said, you have no idea what you might come upon when you are doing this. We're going to do one more page of this, and then I will show you the next way that you can do this. So I'm not seeing this. I actually used to have this. In the past. So let's look him up. So first, he is at $11. We can estimate shipping. Unfortunately, it looks like I picked the time when Orange County, California was ending because shipping on him is 21. But again, if he sold for 100 or $125, that would be okay. So now we're going to go to vintage Mickey Mouse phone. I cannot be reached. All right, so there are 309 sold. Here's one for 40 of that one. And you're going to, again, look at these ones that are selling for more. But really, we're only looking for this one. So there's another one for 30 So that's going to tell me I'm paying 21 in shipping. I would have to bid 12 and I would be in more than that. So let's keep looking. And you see we're coming again. There's our wallets. Now, here's a Disney lounge flight first. And again, some of these items I look at are single ones. And I am okay with paying up if that item is going to sell for me. So there was a tag. Sorry for scrolling so fast, guys. Um, this is Disney Mickey Mouse. It says backpack. That doesn't look like that. Okay. I guess it is a backpack. So let's look. for Disney Lounge Fly Backpack. 
So these are sold comps. And we are just scrolling, looking for that pattern that we saw, which I am not seeing. Look at that one, guys. The Little Mermaid Aerial Sequin Lounge Fly Backpack sold for $1,000. So this is where, like I said, you want to learn these items. While you're searching, researching, you can be learning as well. So I'm still not seeing this one. There are a lot of these sold. So when I can't find something, oh my gosh, there are like nine pages of these, 63, and I don't, let's put embossed, because we really want to try and find this backpack, because I would hate to not get it because it, I didn't figure it out. So there are none sold that look like ours when I put embossed. I'm still not seeing any. Let's see if we can find it this way. Six, seven. I'm going to put that six, seven, one, eight. I'm going to put in the UPC. Zero, three, three, three. Eight, nine, one, three. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, so these are similar, and as you see, they're only selling for about $80. Let's complete it. See if there are any sold. One sold for $43.99, which means this one is not worth it for us. So, so sometimes I buy single items, sometimes I buy lots. It really just depends on how I'm feeling and what I want to look for that day. All right, so that is enough of that. That is your ending today. And it would really depend on what you know and what you're familiar with and what you're wanting. So you can put in one cent shipping. A lot of you might be timid because of the shipping cost, but this will only show you items that are one cent in shipping which will save you money on the shipping, especially when it's like shoes. You will notice most of these prices are going to be higher, but that is because they are building shipping and that cost, which is what some sellers do on eBay. I personally do not do it that way, but some of these Goodwills are doing it that way. So that's why some of these prices are higher because they're compensating for that shipping. So I am not seeing anything here I am impressed with. But if you, I'm going to put lot again. And what we're going to do is we're going to filter. And you can filter by sellers. And you can look at Florida. Just type Florida. Well... Okay, so when I type Florida, I'm trying to, I'm trying. So here's Orlando, there's Tallahassee. So if I put Tallahassee, I can also put Orlando and I can also put Jacks, which are the ones that are closest to me. And I can apply this and I can see which lots are coming from those closest to me. If one of those happened to be in a city where I lived i can just go pick them up and not have to pay shipping and then you can also filter by attribute and show pickup only items which will show you your bigger items and now there might not be any and there are not so that is one way though that you might be able to find pallets or larger items so now i can go to my shop goodwill and I can go to Auctions in Progress. 
And you can see, I also was bidding on some other items that do not end yet, but you can see I am winning all of these except for this one. And that is where you go to check your auctions and see what you're winning. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. All right. I really hope that that was helpful for you guys. That is some of the ways that I use Shop Goodwill to source inventory. If you guys would like me to do a video on Hybid, just to kind of walk you through like I just did here, let me know down in the comments below. If this was helpful, let me know that as well. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I will see you on my live show on Tuesday and it will be fun. So every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are live with different guests every week. My co-host Julian will be back. And also, if you guys want me to source for you, just like you just saw me doing for myself, I do have a $9.99 membership where I search by your zip code and find you items. So definitely hit that join button below. Check it out and I will see you on the next one. Bye. I guys. thought you said you were big. Big. Show me how big. Whoa. You are so big. How did you get up there? How did you get up there so high? What did you use to get up there? What did you use? How did you climb up there? Okay, say bye. Give blow kiss. Do one more blow kiss.